Welcome back guys, this is Joe here from LV Gaming and today we are doing another tutorial on the Multicraft control panel and today we're going to be learning how to get your mod pack in and I'm going to be giving you some little tips and tricks about you know how much RAM you need and everything like that but to start off with we must say a massive thank you to Servermine for sponsoring these videos what I've been doing on this control panel all the links down in the description get a 10% coupon code on your basket at checkout so uh, yeah Let's get started. So first thing you want to do, you want to actually choose your mod pack what you want to use. So in this case, we're going to be using the AT launcher crack pack 1.7.10. So now you've got that selected, you can save. Now let's say you already have a server built in. Let's say you had a bucket server already selected and you want to keep it. It might be a bit difficult. What I would recommend is back up your worlds, you know, log in, download them onto your desktop, then just wipe your server. You won't have to wipe your plugins because this isn't a bucket server now. It's going to be a vanilla, but just with mods, so it's Forge. So it's a bit different, but if you have any questions, you can always add me on Skype and uh, contact me about this. So, uh, yeah, and make sure you subscribe by Relic. So once that is selected, we can start the server up. So wait till that goes uh, to a little spinny circle. Yep, and we'll quickly jump into console. Now you'll see in here, so if I just get rid of it, you'll start seeing it's going to start creating all the class and uh, downloading all the jar files for the mod pack and why that's doing this takes a little bit longer imagine it this way a vanilla server is you know quite quick bucket server a little bit longer modded servers quite longer there is a lot of mods in this um, ones in in this pack so uh, yeah why that's going to do I'm just going to be showing you some things on the uh, server miner about what kind of uh, RAM you need and to be fair server miner did it quite well I give him credit for that because most server companies they just have mod packs and so most people don't know you can't always run mod packs on you know 256 megabytes of RAM you must have upwards to 700, 768 megabytes of RAM to even have a mod pack on your server here so any of these are just vanilla, then upwards these would be recommended. So uh, yeah, but I always recommend a 1 gig to be fair, or higher. So uh, yeah, that's all. Now this takes quite a while to start up, so I'm going to pause it here, and I'm going to load up the AT launcher and log in. So uh, I'll be right back. Right then, guys, we are back, and uh, yeah, we've logged into the Minecraft, or the Crackback to be excise. And we're about to log into the server, but I did forget to say one thing. Once you've actually started your server up, and it's, you know, there. So, you know, once you start up and it's generated all the files, just give it a quick restart. It's sometimes it can mess up. It's very, very rare, but just give it a normal restart. It's like any other server I have, you know, when I make it, load it, restart it, load it. Nice and simple. But anyway, let's log in. So it's showing straight away. I've already put the IP in, and the ping I'm getting is 21. So uh, let's join. So this is the first time I'm ever, ever, ever joining the server. So we might get a little bit of lag when we're generating train. So we'll just wait for it. Right then. We have joined. So now you can go off and op yourself. And uh, yeah. You might see some little bit of lag because that is my computer because we're only running at 60 frames, normally we're running a bit higher. But as you can see, it's nice and peaceful. We're running around, breaking blocks, placing blocks, absolutely fine. Uh, I think on my side I'll do, I'll just turn to fast to save us some effort. But um, yeah, you know, you're not getting block lag, it's absolutely fine in my uh, opinion. And uh, yeah, so let's disconnect. So that is it. So thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe, like, favourite, go follow me on Twitter and I'll see you next time in the next video. This is Joe from LB Gaming and goodbye.